Hey, Tom Hegna here. About a year or so ago, I wrote an article on why Ken Fisher really loves annuities and you should too. And I just thought I'd do a little video that kind of explains what I was talking about there. You know, Ken Fisher takes out these full page ads that say, I hate annuities and you should too. And this ad is frustrating many financial professionals. It can cause clients to have a negative perspective on why annuities are a necessary part of their retirement plan. And the negative connotation just adds on to the Susie Ormans and the Dave Ramseys of the world who continue to pass out misleading and often incorrect information on life insurance and annuities to clients. You know, ever have any of your clients bring a copy of an article written by Ken Fisher to a meeting with you? Maybe you're not sure how to handle these objections. Well, I'm 100% positive that Ken Fisher loves annuities. And let me explain to you why. He's run an absolute brilliant marketing campaign. Annuities, in this case specifically variable annuities, are an easy target. Remember, most annuities don't have fees. Single premium media annuities do not have fees. If you're guaranteed a thousand bucks a month for the rest of your life, that's exactly what you're gonna get. Deferred income annuities are not a fee product. If you're guaranteed a thousand dollars a month for the rest of your life, that's what you're gonna get. Fixed annuities are not a fee product. Fixed indexed annuities are not a free product. There's really only two types of annuities that even have fees. The variable annuities that I just talked about and some income riders on indexed annuities. But that doesn't mean they're bad. It means you have to compare what are the fees versus what are the guarantees. As I said, the variable annuity is an easy target. I mean, they do have higher fees than many other investment products. So when he looked across the landscape of all the investment products, he had to find one product that was widely owned, that had higher fees than he did, because he's got really high fees. That's the dirty little secret about Ken Fisher is that he has high fees too. He can't pick on Vanguard, he can't pick on Fidelity, nope, because their fees are lower than his. Well, there are a lot of products out there that have high fees. I mean, think about real estate, options, futures, gold, commodities, Bitcoin, there, there are a lot of things that have high fees. But which of these is widely owned and can be transferred to a Ken Fisher investment account with just a couple of signatures? Oh, variable annuities, voila, he found the perfect target. So this anti-variable annuity campaign has helped Mr. Fisher grow a lot into a you know, billion dollar practice and make a very respectable income. But rest assured, if you call his number, you will never get Ken Fisher. You're gonna get one of his many employees who will be more than happy to transfer your variable annuity to a Ken Fisher account. Now, should this be allowed? Are they truly working in the best interest of their clients? They say they're fiduciaries. Well, I can't speak for every client's situation, but what I can say is that the math and science proves that the only way to hedge longevity risk is with an annuity. Where's the fiduciary responsibility of an advisor that does not have an annuity as part of a retirement plan? It, the plan will be suboptimal. But now let me tell you why Ken Fisher will hate annuities in the future. Math and science proves that only some form of an annuity will hedge longevity risk. Stocks can't do it, bonds can't do it, CDs can't do it. See, Ken Fisher does not tell the whole story. So let me now, as Paul Harvey said for years, tell you the rest of the story. Yes, variable annuities do have higher fees when compared to mutual funds or managed money. But do you know why? is because these variable annuities have guarantees that Mr. Fisher does not have. Guarantees that really only matter when the market goes down. Now, lately the market's been close to all-time highs, it keeps hitting record highs, and guarantees don't matter much when markets are hitting new highs. They can pick on the fees, they can pick on commissions, they can pick on anything that will reduce your returns. But I may know something that Mr. Fisher seems not to know, okay? That markets crash and they can actually go down a lot. And when that happens, mark my words, it will be then that Mr. Fisher will actually hate annuities. Why? Well, because he's gonna be likely in litigation and paying uh, some, some fines that he will find himself up against. All of these people who move their money to Ken Fisher will have lost those guarantees. A guaranteed death benefit, a guaranteed accumulation benefit, there's guaranteed withdrawal benefits, guaranteed income benefits. You see, all of the guarantees that cause the fees to be higher, they're now gone. 78 million baby boomers who are near or in retirement, the ones who follow Ken Fisher will be in a boatload of trouble with their retirement. Look, some other half-truths of Ken Fisher. 
He says, oh, your broker could have received a commission of 8% or more. Does he mention that the 8% did not come out of the client's account? No, he doesn't mention that. That's paid for by the company. Does he mention that the commission is a one-time fee paid for by that issuing company? No. Does he mention that his fees will come out of the client's account? Every single month or quarter? Nope. And it'll, it'll go on forever. Does he tell the client of all the guarantees they're giving up? I haven't seen that. Does he explain the difference between the different types of annuities? Nope. He lumps all the annuities together. Income annuities are not a fee product. They're spread products. Does he say that? No. He treats everything like it's a variable annuity. Does he explain to the clients that they really must use an annuity to take longevity risk off the table? Nope. He doesn't mention that. Does he tell them that the way that uh, an annuity works inside of a portfolio, in income annuities, like a AAA rated bond with a C rated deal with zero standard deviation, he doesn't mention that. Does he tell them that PhDs around the world recommend that you at least cover your basic living expenses in retirement with guaranteed lifetime income? He doesn't say that. Does he stress the need for tax diversification using life insurance as a source of tax-free income retirement? He doesn't mention that. Does he stress the importance of having a plan for long-term care? Nope, he doesn't. He thinks it's all about the stock market, and it's not. Retirement is just not just about the stock market. Look, don't be duped by a marketing genius. Focus on helping clients have guaranteed lifetime income and help them remove key risks uh, from their lives during retirement. Always remember, Tom Hegna loves annuities, and you should too. Look, if you're looking for a way to educate your clients, about why annuities have to be a part of their retirement plan. Become a member of Tom Hagen on Demand. You know, I personally like to help each one of your prospects understand why they should love annuities as much as we do. Look, thank you for listening today. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I do have a YouTube channel as well that's free to subscribe and I'd encourage you to do that. So thank you again.